Hi guys, happy Phaser Friday. And I know it's been like a hot minute, I think like two or three weeks since we've talked. And it's just like, I was on this gig and I got sick at the same time. And you all know how that feels. It's like, we did not get enough sleep out there. And so, yeah, I lost kind of some motivation for explaining things, but I am finding it again. And I loved, I went through all your guys' YouTube comments in the last week and a lot of Instagram messages. And I just really appreciate all the love and support that this community has had for this project because this project is a lot more than it looks online. So I really thank you all for that. And one of the things that came up in the comments was what is the difference between a phaser and a generator and a recipe? And I'm not saying I'm gonna have the best explanation, but I'm gonna have an explanation and hopefully this will make things make a little bit more sense in the end. Okay, so I might've said this before in the phaser video, but we're just gonna recap it. A phaser is a preset and a preset is a phaser, right? So if I grab all of my lights and I put them at full, this is the first step of a phaser. And it's also a one step preset or a one step phaser. It, yeah, it's a little confusing, but a preset and a phaser are the same thing. And I've made the first step by doing this. And as soon as I make a second step and it's moving from open to closed, this is now dynamic. This is when a value, we call it a phaser. It's still a preset, right? I still store it in my preset pool next to my other presets, but it is a phaser. And that's the definition of a phaser. It's anything that has more than one step. Okay. A generator itself, we're going to skip to generator and then we're going to come back to recipe. A generator itself doesn't have multiple steps, even though it kind of seems like it does because it's actually one value itself. It is, there's no steps in the um, programmer here, right? I can see I'm just in step one. This is happening and let's grab, uh, let's just kind of change this. So maybe we get a little more of a random look. There we go. And then we'll get rid of the attack and the decay. Perfect. Okay, great. So now this is a generator. This is all happening within one step, but it can't happen natively, right? I can't grab this open and it be random, right? This is also one step. It's but this is not a dynamic one step, whereas this is a dynamic one step. And again, I don't know if this is the best explanation at all, but this is still one step, which is why it's not a phaser. A phaser is when I go down here and I grab this arrow and now I set it to closed. Now we're going from this random value to a closed value. And now it's a phaser, whereas before, when I get rid of that second step, and I just have my lights and I set them to the generator, this is just a generator. So a generator, I guess, is anytime it is already one step, but it has some sort of dynamic value. Generators can only be random. I don't know if they're gonna be anything else. This is still like unknown to us users, but at the moment, a generator is this random value that can exist in a single step. But I wouldn't call it just a preset because it, it has, it has this other property to it and we do need a name for that. So you can say, no, these are the lights at full. These are the lights at a random generator. I hope that makes sense. Uh, a recipe is any, takes all of these components. So all of these things that we're using so far, this open preset, this uh, random generator, and this on off phaser, these are all considered values to the console. And this is where recipes come into play. A recipe is able to target any of the type of values we have in the desk. So if I grab my uh, spots gridded group here and I hop in here to my values, this is part of my options. So under dimmer, I have my open option here and I can just set them to open, but I also have the option to set them to open close. So this is going to be my phaser. So it's using a that static preset as a value, then it's using a phaser as a value, but it can also come in here and it can use a generator as a value. So at the end of the day, all three of these things, a phaser, a preset, and a generator, they're all considered values. A recipe itself is not a value, but it's a way of taking values, selection, and a matrix, and making a look on stage that you can recreate again with a different combination of values. So I hope that kind of explains this a little bit. And if it doesn't, oh, please let me know. Put it in the comments and we'll keep learning uh, how to like look at this feature, explain it, and keep diving into it together. Happy Friday.